Hello friends, today we are going to deal about the problem related to the skip distance. Do you know what is the skip distance is? So before understanding what is the skip distance, we are going to deal with two, <coughs> two parameters that is critical frequency and maximum usable frequency. Uh, first of all, I would like to remember you this formula. This is the refractive index of the ionosphere. You need to remember this. If you want to learn more about it, I will make another video on this. You can comment below. So, what is the critical frequency? Suppose I have an antenna here in the earth and this is the ionosphere and I emit the wave of certain frequencies say the frequency to be f and at certain frequency this we will uh, reflect back to the earth and if the frequency exceed then the wave will uh, penetrate the ionosphere so for the angle of incidence zero degree uh, because this is this angle needs to be zero degree to find the critical frequency so for angle of incidence zero degree and the frequency that can be used so that the wave will reflect back to the earth the frequency which will reflect back to the earth is known as critical frequency and if this frequency exceeds then the uh, wave will penetrate the ionosphere so for the angle of incidence zero degree the frequency that will reflect back to the earth is known as critical frequency so let's see here for the angle of incidence 0, F will be Fc if the wave reflects back to the earth. And here is the simple mathematics, sin i by sin r, that is angle of incidence 0 degree, is equal to, this is the refractive index of ionosphere. So we can equate this and solving this equation, we get the formula for the critical frequency Fc. This is the critical frequency and maximum usable frequency in case of maximum usable frequency uh, in our life there is always the way will not go directly at the angle uh, perpendicular but wave will have certain angle of incidence and for this angle of incidence this fc may be greater that is we can use higher frequency so that wave will uh, reflect back to the earth so this frequency is the maximum usable frequency in case of critical frequency the angle of incidence is zero degree uh, and the wave should reflect back to the earth in case of maximum usable frequency the angle of incidence i may not be equal to zero degree and the angle uh, but the wave should return back to the earth so for the angle of incidence i the wave at least have the angle of reflection 90 degree that is if this is the ionosphere and we say this is the normal for angle i the wave at least have angle 90 degree or more than 90 degree so this is the angle of reflection so if i put this value and equate this with the refractive index of ionosphere then we we get the maximum usable frequency to be fc sec i you can see derivation yourself and here we have understand two parameter critical frequency and maximum usable frequency now let's move to the skip distance so skip distance between the point is the first wave received by transmitting center is called skip distance here suppose this is the earth and i have an antenna here and the wave generated goes to the ionosphere this is called skype wave and reflect back to the earth and another wave goes to the this way and this way here are different range of frequency and the distance from the antenna to the first received this is the first received wave and this distance is known as skip distance 
and this is the range uh, this also called range of the frequency or the range of the distance now let's move to the mathematics here we can see uh, for considering the skip distance we consider the earth to be the flat surface and here the wave travels to the ionosphere and incident at the angle of incident i let's say this is a normal and the wave reflect back to the earth at the angle of reflection r and if this a and c a is the point of origination of the signal and c is the first received signal and consider the distance to be d then here we can see simple mathematics that is cos i is equal to perpendicular that is height of the ionosphere upon root under hypotenuse which is equal to uh, h square plus d square by 4 and you can solve this sec i i can i directly write 1 plus d square by 4 h square and this distance d is the skip distance here so we need to find d so d square is equal to uh, 2 h root under sec square i minus 1 and we have previously known the value of sec i here we can see maximum usable frequency is equal to critical frequency into sec i from this we know that sec i is equal to f mof by f c so we can replace this value by f maximum usable frequency upon fc critical frequency square minus 1 so from this we know that skip distance to be this much sorry at d so now we can move to our problem let's see here assume that the reflection takes place at the height of 400 kilometer here we have given reflection height that is here the height of the reflection that is the reflection from the ionosphere is 400 kilometer maximum density in ionosphere correspond to a 0 0.8 refractive index at 15 megahertz at frequency of the 15 megahertz we have the refractive index mu is equal to 0 0.8 and we need to find the range considering the earth to be flat if the maximum visible frequency is 20 megahertz f mof is equal to 20 megahertz then what is the distance that is the skip distance of the communication so first let's see here is the refractive index given so now for the ionosphere case mu is equal to root under 1 minus 81 n f square this n is called electron density in ionosphere electron density so putting all these parameters 0 0.8 is equal to root under 1 minus 81 n f square f is given 15 megahertz so you can put your value and find the value of n and i found it to be 10 to the power 12 so we have already given maximum usable frequency and i have previously derived d is equal to this is the skip distance is equal to f maximum usable frequency upon f c square minus 1 and we have maximum usable frequency and height already but we need to find your fc that is the critical frequency and the formula for the critical frequency is fc is equal to 9 root under n and if you put this value you obtain sorry n 9 into 10 to the power 6 now we have all the parameter to find the distance that is the range so 2 into 400 kilometer is the height and maximum usable frequency is 20 megahertz 
and critical frequency here is 9 mega hertz that is 9 all square upon minus 1 and you will find this to be 1567.3 kilometer and this is the required skip distance that is the range of the communication i hope this will help you if you have any problem write in the comment below